The tremors in 45-year-old John Leonard's hands and legs are so severe he's unable to work or drive. Side effects from the strong medications doctors in his native Arizona initially prescribed left his personal and financial life in ruins. For the last month, he spent most of his time in his room because his legs shake so much, the tremors are so bad that he couldn't get comfortable. He's what we call tremor dominant early onset Parkinson's disease because he was diagnosed in his mid-30s. It's one of the worst cases doctors at JFK Medical Center in Edison have ever seen. But today he's undergoing deep brain stimulation surgery, a procedure used to turn those tremors off. So this is the lead that would connect to the microelectrode. Dr. Asif Bashir and his team are inserting a thin insulated wire called a lead. It's connected to another wire that monitors the activity of nerve cells and targets the signals that cause tremor and Parkinson's disease symptoms. The kicker? John is awake but mildly sedated for the entire procedure. So we are basically listening to the brain. The as you pass from the thalamus into the deeper part of the brain, which is the subthalamus, the activity goes up and Dr. Hanna and our team is able to track the waves over there as well as we can listen to the activity. They use an MRI and audio cues to locate the exact target in the brain where the nerve signals generate the symptoms. Listen closely. That rain on a tin roof sound is actually John's brain responding to the electrode. We can hear the brain activity go up, telling us we're getting close to the target. They'll send electrical impulses from a neurostimulator through the wire into the brain and block the signals causing the tremors. It's very similar to a cardiac pacemaker, and it goes in the same area of the chest as a cardiac pacemaker. It's just about the same size. Right now, doctors are fine-tuning and trying to find the appropriate balance between the highest voltage needed to turn the tremor off without causing a side effect. That target is not uh, resolving the tremor of the arm and the leg, so we're going to implant a second electrode in the same side of that, the brain at a different site that will get the tremor under control and he will be able to reduce his medication significantly, if not completely. Second time around and they've got it. How about if we turn it on again and take over the tremor? There we go. The prognosis is very good once you have the tremor under control. Then basically as long as you keep on changing the generator every four or five years, uh, all the motor symptoms are controlled for life. It means it's not the end of the road for the young father of two, it's the start of a brand new one. In Edison, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.